This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Spend less to heat and cool your home now through March 31st with the area's top full-service window service by saving $300 on every window and $800 on every door. You can even get a free upgrade to Smart Sun Glass without having to pay anything for two years. Take advantage of this deal and schedule yourself a free inspection by heading over to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com or by calling 717-836-1080. A man who was cleared of murder in 2017 has been arrested for another homicide. Last year, Pennsylvania saw a surge in anti-Semitic incidents. Cops in this county are creating a real-time crime center. And will the Hershey's Kiss at long last become Pennsylvania's official state candy? I'm a Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in PA. In 2017, Sean Thomas was cleared of a wrongful murder conviction in Philadelphia due to problems with the evidence used in the case and released from prison, reports The Morning Call. The Pennsylvania Innocence Project had taken up his case and, after review, prosecutors eventually agreed Thomas wasn't present at the location of the murder when it took place. He later settled a civil suit against the city for $4.15 million. Thomas was arrested in Chester County over the weekend and will be charged for the murder of a man in North Philadelphia, which took place this past January. Also arrested for the crime was Keith Trevisi, whose brother, Willie, had his murder conviction overturned a few years ago with the help of District Attorney Larry Krasner. Details of both arrests have yet to be disclosed. According to a new report from the Anti-Defamation League, anti-Semitic incidents hit a record high in the U.S. last year, reports Lehigh Valley Live. Pennsylvania in particular was among the states that had over a hundred of such incidents, seeing a 65% increase when compared to 2021. Nationally, that increase was 36%. Pennsylvania was also among the states with the most bomb threats tied to anti-Semitism, coming in third behind New Jersey and New York. In total, 111 anti-Semitic assaults were reported across the country last year, four of which involved use of a deadly weapon. Delaware County law enforcement officials are creating a, quote, real-time crime center, states why. The county DA's office is expanding its contract with a Georgia-based surveillance company called Fusis, which, kind of like what this podcast reported what York wants to do, would install cameras in high-crime areas to mitigate crime. Some officials are even dreaming of a day when civilians share their own private security camera feeds into one opt-in system for law enforcement to tap into. DA Jack Stoltzheimer calls this system a quote-unquote force enhancer that would allow cops to see the video stream either on their phones or from a centralized location. There are those who are against such surveillance, deeming it as a great infringement on privacy and civil liberties. Further information regarding this force enhancer system remains pending. PenLive reported almost exactly a year ago about how the Hershey's Kiss almost became the official state candy of Pennsylvania, says PenLive. The Senate State Government Committee had approved a bill that would seal the deal for the kiss with a 10 to 1 vote, although it eventually went nowhere. However, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 is reporting that the kiss may at long last have its day, with yet another bill pushing for it to become a state symbol, courtesy of Representatives Thomas L. Mahaffey III and Patty Kim. The two plan on introducing this legislation relatively soon in order to, quote, not only bring more attention to our state, but also commemorate a company and candy that has forever impacted our state's economy and values. That wraps up today's episode. For even more news, drop by penlive.com. And please take the time to rate this podcast and to share it with whomever you can. Thanks in advance. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for another round of Today in PA. This podcast is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Spend less to heat and cool your home now through March 31st with the area's top full-service window service by saving $300 on every window and $800 on every door. You can even get a free upgrade to Smart Sun Glass without having to pay anything for two years. Take advantage of this deal and schedule yourself a free inspection by heading over to rbacentralpadeals.com. That's rbacentralpadeals.com or by calling 717-836-1080.